Is your wooden fence in need of repair? Just look at mine. It's literally falling apart and parts of it is still rotting away. This fence has been up for 20 years and it's time to repair and replace this section. I'll start by removing the crossboards and slats. Just be careful not to damage the posts. Most likely, the original nails for the crossboards are still there, so I'm using a wonder bar to yank these out. And I'm using another board to protect the fence from damage. To put in new crossboards, we'll need these 2x4 hangers. Each section will need four of these to help you determine how many you'll need. I'm also using a box of one and a quarter inch coated exterior screws. Start by measuring where the top of the two x four will be placed. Use the same measurements as from your old fence. Mine is six inches down from the top. And this is where I'll screw in the first bracket. Secure it with two screws. Now install the other three brackets at the top and bottom of the posts. Again, measure the height from the original fence to get the positioning of the bottom bracket. This will ensure that the new section will match the rest of the old fence. Secure all these brackets with the one and a quarter inch screws. Now grab a two x four and mark the distance between the posts. Take into account the space taken up by the screw heads in the brackets. Now I'll just cut the 2x4 to size. After it's cut, go back to the fence post and check it for fit. This looks perfect. Now cut additional 2x4s for the other sections that need repair. Again, check to see how they fit before proceeding. With the 2x4 seated in the brackets, put a screw in the side of the board to keep them in place. Do this with the other side also. Here are my crossboards all secured. Now I'm going to place a string across the top of the fence posts as a guide. This is used to align the top of the slats I'm going to install. Now I can start installing these slats. They'll need two screws at the top and they go in really easy into the wood. Then I'll take two more screws to secure the bottom of the slat. Okay, the first one's done and since this is an alternating fence, the next board attaches on the other side of the 2x4. Again, line this slat up with the string across the top. Now I can start screwing in the slat. The screws should be just flush with the surface of the board so don't go too fast with your drill. Now I'll repeat the next board on the other side of the fence and so on until I've reached the other fence post. I'm only repairing a short section of the fence today, but everything I just showed you can be applied to longer sections. It's all the same with the brackets, 2x4s, and slats. I pre-stained the boards because I'm working on a smaller repair, but if I had to replace the whole fence, I'd probably spray the stain on. The complete sections look brand new. I actually repaired the gate too, but I didn't shoot a video of it because it adds so much more time for the repair, and I had to do it before the rain started. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, The Render Cube, for more how-to videos and product reviews.